all modern CPUs have multiple cores, but the web was made before this happened, so you can only use one core at a time. This makes the web significantly slower, especially on mobile. We can solve this by using web workers and doing huge calculations, image processing and edge detections and much more in the background, in another core. It's free real estate. After all. You can start a new web worker by simply creating it, pointing to a JavaScript file that contains the code for it. With a simple console log inside. Here you can see the console log is being run from the web worker. Workers can also talk back using messages and listen for incoming messages. This allows for two-way communication. You can do most things inside a web worker that you can do outside of it, but you cannot interact with the DOM at all. This means you either have to send the worker all the data it needs, or it needs to pull in that data using the fetch API. The demo I'm showing is available in the description. A huge calculation makes the website unresponsive as you share the CPU core with the UI of the website, also known as the main thread. We can see that the GIF based spinner still works as Chrome runs it on a separate core, but the SVG spinner stops as it runs on the same core as your JavaScript. Doing the same calculations on multiple web workers does not stop anything and you can see that all the cores are in use. This opens up the entire CPU for your application. Workers can even talk directly to each other using the Broadcast Channel API. I just love that API. Here you can see all the messages being delivered. Web workers even have access to read file sync, making file processing much easier inside a worker. This file is over 40 megabytes of text. You can even make an inline worker using some blob magic by stringifying the code and generating a new worker using it. That just makes it so much easier to use web workers. Let's now look at image processing. This is perfect for web workers as it is CPU heavy, meaning it will disrupt the user experience if it's running on the main thread only. Simple operations like grayscale and invert does not need to be in a web worker, but edge detection does. This is super useful for machine learning, but it's also really cool. It highlights edges inside the image. You can see how everything stops when it's done directly in the main thread. Moving to a web worker and it's completely fine. It's even faster. This can be combined into a loop with different hardness values, but it needs to be in a web worker. The code here is complex, but that's not really the point. The point here is to show you how powerful web workers really are. Web Workers is a tool that can help make complex websites super responsive and interactive. I highly recommend playing around with it. Links in the description. This is more important than ever as most users are on slower mobile devices where native apps usually are faster as they are better designed for multiple cores. Web Workers can help us take back control of performance. And that's it! I hope you found this short deep dive useful and you learned something new. Let me know in the comments below if you want more content like this.